Hey there guys, on Global we've got the um, Savior Lightning banner coming in this week. Um, she's a pretty decent unit, so I figured I'd show her on a trial using um, her with her best function, which in my opinion is not really for her damage. Her damage is okay-ish, it's not like great or anything, it's you know, it's decent. But she's, she's, she's already behind some of the units we already have on Global in terms of damage dealt. Like, you know, last while Reagan's going to easily out-damage her. So will some other units. Um, but her damage is still, you know, decent. You can use her that way if you want to. She She's fine. She's usable. But in my opinion, her best function is her 90% Spirit Break. This is a unique ability to her. No one else in the game has a Spirit Break that high, including up to current Japanese server. And um, a trend on bosses going forward is that most of them have no passive stats whatsoever. What this means is that the difference between an 85% break and a 90% break is 50% increased damage for your entire team. Well, your magical damage dealers for a spirit break. It would be for physical if it was a defense break, but the high, the high defense breakers come later. Um, but yeah, so far no one else has a high spirit break other than um, Savior Lightning. So for a magical team, that's a 50% total increase for everyone. That is really powerful. And also, even in Dark Visions, they're using they're now using bosses with um, very very low stat passives. The current Dark Visions on JP with the secret the Trials of Mana, the final boss only has a 10% stat passive. So you really really want a high tier breaker. Um, to do more damage, and and that is Neo Visions Lightning. Um, I'm probably going to use minimum of some tickets. I'm, I might even I might even go for the step up for the for the guarantee when she comes to global this week. But um, I, I'll probably I'll probably will be pulling for her or at least attempting her partially. You know, maybe I'll get her in the first ticket. It's happened before. It could happen again. Who knows? We'll see. But we're going to take her for a trial right now. Um, we're going to go to the scoring of Irene's trial extreme. Uh, and like I mentioned, her best duty is support. So we're going to use her as our as our breaker, which is her best role because this boss has no stat passives at all. And um, there we go. So we're going to use Luna Freya as our primary DPS. Um, there's a mission for a five-man team, so we're only bringing five units, which is why I'm leaving a slot empty. Uh, Titus is going to be for support chaining with lightning. Luna Freya is going to be capping, and Phase is going to be covering. So Phase is geared for... Um, uh, some resistance. We've got uh, water, light, and dark resist, both forms. And then she's got Riku's pouch to cure debuffs. Other than that, there we go. She's not going to provoke. Uh, provoker is going to be Titus. He is passive provoke full evasion with a super ribbon for stop immunity and charm immunity. Um, other than that, he's got some LB fill, call of the wild, etc. There we go. Lightning, base form, we're not really using it. We're going to shift immediately to the, uh, the shift form. This is, this is where her spirit break is. We've geared her for 12 auto limit and um, 1,000 LB fill rate, so she can fill her LB pretty easily. Uh, that's all that really matters. She's going to support chain and do her spirit break LB. That's her entire purpose. She is literally here for that only. We're not really bothering with her damage because it doesn't really matter. Um, and then Luna Freya is going to be our DPS. Uh, base form is geared for demon killer. She's got 275 demon and 5,400 magic, so there you go. Shift form is an evo evoker. She's got 300 evoke magic, 270 evoke damage, 225 LB damage. She's basically the water version of Terra. You've seen me use her before, and she's got 5,600 magic. Friend we're taking. Base form of this friend has no killers whatsoever, so this is really unfortunate that... And yes, it's not built for it, which is fine. This, this one is built for, it looks like Aqua Killer for another trial, I guess. Probably the Chronicle Battle, because the Chronicle Battle is, a, is an aqua, aqua fight. But yeah, um, the cool thing about... Um, Evokers is their their shift form doesn't even matter. Their, their build is universal. So this is just the high magic Luna Freya, uh, maxed out Evo magic, uh, 240 Evo damage, 200 LB damage, and 6,400 magic power. So let's go ahead and get get in here and do it. And this boss is really bulky. Um, my first clear took something like 25 turns using Faisalus as my DPS, but now we're going to take advantage of Lightning's um, Spirit Break and get some real good damage going on. So we're going to go ahead and cover. And um, healing ripples. This allows us to entrust Titus turn one to the lightning, who is going to shift and do her LB to 90% spirit break, which is huge. And then Luna Freya's are going to shift immediately. We're going to go directly into their LB for capping on turn two. Let's exit the menu so we don't glitch it. 
And then we're going to, uh, let's see, power up, power up, and chain. Um, the chain also on perils, so we're going to power, power, chain. Wait for this to finish, I don't want to break the chain. And let's go ahead and chain a little bit. This power is about for a turn two, gets them nice and ready. We had bad luck on crystal drops, but that's okay. We're going to do some real chains in a second. Okay. So now we're going to LB. We're going to LB. Titus is going to um, just chain with the Luna Freya. Uh, what is, real quick, what is this? I forget what this does. Oh, yeah, that's not important. Um, that's not important at all. Now we're just going to chain this. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Just chain... And then um, we're going to chain Triple Wind with Lightning. Okay, and then uh, we'll do a mitigation with her. We'll probably push the threshold. And there it is. Boom. Oh, it took me 25 turns to kill this on my first clear. And now it's only taking going to take... Well, now, now we're on cooldown with Luna Freya, so it's going to take a while. Push the threshold. doesn't really do anything. Uh, the boss is not buffed or anything. So now we're in the base form. Now the damage is going to go down quite a bit. For one thing, the friend has no killers. Second thing, um, Luna Freya's base form is, is honestly just not that good at water. It's more of a uh, holy chainer in the base form. She can do water, and we're going we're gonna to do water. But yeah, it's, it's not super impressive in the base form. Uh, we'll use Titus to uh, 135 water in peril. Um, Lightning can just put up a break actually yeah put up a break um we'll just cover and heal I guess with her and we'll go ahead and chain we're not really going to be doing hardly any damage in this form there's another threshold which is a little irritating but whatever uh, the boss like imbues you and all that this fight is really anti-physical you want to use mages here we keep pushing thresholds um, the boss is not buffed yet, so that's fine. Uh, we are sleeping on the units that are not status immunes. We'll just Panacea with Riku's Pouch. And then Lunar Freya will, let's see, quad. Um, one, two, three, and then some water. We can shift again in two turns. One, two, three, water. Lightning, we'll do her LB. Um, let's see, Titus will... I'm not entirely sure what we should do with you. Oh, 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 yeah, we should do a better Amplify. What am I doing? Better Amplify. Let's do an Amplify, and, um... We'll do this. Wait for this to finish. Let's go ahead and chain a little bit. Hopefully we get some drops on Lightning. We're not getting many Crystals on her. There we go. 1,000% fill rate for the win. Okay, so Lightning will be good to go again for breaking uh, pretty soon. More Thresholds again. We're, we're, like, stat broken and all that. Uh, how's the Imperil looking? The Imperil is going to be gone in a second. We'll go ahead and do the Imperil real quick. Uh, the boss is buffed. Should I care? No, let's do the Imperil. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Let's do this. Let's heal in Ripples. We'll LB with Lightning for the break. Uh, the boss is buffed currently, so we're, we're going to do way less damage than we're already already doing low damage. One turn on the shift doesn't really matter. All that really matters is um, her LB, which we're gonna be doing in in a turn or two. All right, and then lightning. So light, light, lightning's LB is almost good to go again. Yet yeah, uh, limit burst fill rate is really good on lightning for obvious reasons. All right, so we're gonna use Titus here to let's see here. We're gonna use him to get us ready for next turn. We're gonna go ahead and dispel the boss, dispel the team, and put up this. This is just a bunch of debuff cures and perfect dispels on the boss. Gets rid of, gets rid of everything. Uh, we're going to shift our Luna Freyas and get them ready for next turn. We can just go ahead and have Lightning just refresh the Spirit Break. The fight's going to be over in a second anyway, so the Spirit Break's not that big a deal anymore. But it certainly won't hurt. We'll just cover and um, mitigate with you. Uh, let's go ahead and, let's see, Magnus, power up, and then do some chaining with Luna Freya. So, Magnus, power up, and do some chaining. Get this to finish. Go ahead and chain a little bit. 
And we'll finish it off on turn 7, assuming nothing bad happens here. Yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that was whatever. Alright, we'll do this, we'll do this. We'll use Panacea to cure all the debuffs. We will have Titus support chain. And we did a fight that took me... Um, actually, Titus, let's do it this way. Let's do it. One, two, three. And then Lightning will support chain. Uh, the, 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 this is Bolting Strike Frames, by the way, that I'm using. So yeah, it took something like... Uh, I don't know, a bunch of turns... On my first clear, with a six-man team, I believe, even. Then I came back and did an even slower clear with a five-man team, with Pfizerless. But, uh, Luna Freya, with 90% Spirit Break from Lightning, is a big deal. So Lightning, yeah, Lightning is not really a primary DPS. Now, you can use her that way, and I have used her that way in the past. She, she's totally fine, fine as a DPS. It's just, um, yeah, if, if you're pulling for her, her long-term value is that Spirit Break. So, uh, oh, the, EX, the e EX3 friend destroyed me in damage. Feels bad, man. Anyway, there we go. So there is the Irony's Trial uh, using Lightning. So that's it. There it is. Uh, so I will see you guys on Thursday when she comes out. Later.